All right, guys, well, I'm back today with another high value and budget upper assembly review, and this one is from Bear Creek Arsenal. If you follow the channel, some of the very first upper assemblies I ever purchased, even before YouTube, were from Bear Creek Arsenal. In fact, I remember when their website was first released, up until that point, you could only buy them from other distributors. I gave it a shot, and it blew me away at the accuracy and performance out of some of their barrels at some incredibly good prices, and this one is no different, except for they continue to innovate and push the limits of what you can get for high value and budget prices. Now, with all that being said, uh, Bear Creek is not without its issues. Over the years, occasionally, um, I've had uppers that I've had to send back, and they've fixed them and sent them back to me. They, though, have always been a good, solid, reliable company in my mind, and I've purchased a lot of their uppers, and they sent some uppers to the channel for us to review, and that's what this one is. They sent out one of their 20-inch stainless steel heavy barrel uppers with one of their latest rail systems, so this is going to be a snapshot in time of early 2022, kind of end of 2021, of the quality and performance of their upper assemblies. The other cool thing about Bear Creek Arsenal is they always include a coupon code 704 Tactical for 5% off of any uppers I've reviewed. The best thing to do is go through, if you got an upper you're looking at buying, type in the code, see if it works, or browse my channel again because I've reviewed so many of their uppers on the channel. This one is really interesting, and I feel like this is where BCA shines incredibly well. Precision upper assemblies at a high value price. This one is chambered in 223 Wild, and the SKU number that you're really going to want to look up to be able to find this is going to be the 258-N. And honestly, I can't link to this in the description below, but I can link my campsite page in the description below. The campsite page is an aggregate site of all the best deals, not just on this upper assembly, but everything else I find on the internet. I will link that in the description. We'll be able to click it there. It'll take you right to everything you need to know. I also want to give a huge shout out to Borelli. Borelli is an awesome deals website that really has some awesome purchasing power and they leverage that to bring you some good deals. They've been sending over some 223556. I've been shooting some of this Federal as well as some different types of Remington 62 grain ammo that really helped me prove out this upper assembly. All of the best Borelli ammo deals will also be over on my campsite page, so definitely check that out if you're looking for different types of ammunition at good prices. Borelli has it as well as free shipping. So the 223 Wild chambering on this upper assembly may be confusing for some that is kind of newly entered into the AR-15 world, but the 223, chamber, 223 Wild chamber can handle the pressures of a 5.56, but has the tolerancing of a 223, allowing it to really handle those high pressure 5.56 rounds, but have a little bit more accurate, just overall performance at the range. But the only downfall of the 223 Wild Chamber that I've seen is it's a little bit more finicky with steel cased ammo because those tolerances are tighter. Now, this is not a battle rifle where you're going to be getting in mud. This is more of a precision upper, but it runs everything perfectly. I have run steel cased ammo through this, just a little bit of wolf with no issues whatsoever, but we'll talk about that more in the reliability section of this review. So again, this is a 20-inch barrel that comes with their stainless steel flash hider located on the front with half by 28 threads and this is a heavy profile barrel it's actually made out of 416r stainless steel which is a really good quality barrel steel it wears in nicely and you get some really accurate performance this one also comes with a rifle length gas system which makes the recoil almost non-existent combine that with a heavy profile barrel and again the recoil is almost just not even there you can absolutely rattle off follow-up shots this is a good varmint rifle a good bench rest rifle and that heavier profile barrel allows it to heat up a little bit more and dissipate a little bit more heat before it starts stringing shots over some lightweight barrels they also other offer some lighter weight options in these 20 inch games but for again for varmint hunting precision shooting um, just overall bench rest shooting this is going to be a solid accurate upper 
Speaking of accuracy, a lot of the accuracy I've seen on this upper was with basic range ammunition, and then I got to shoot some match ammunition. When I shot the match ammunition, I was easily getting a 0.75 inch groups to inch groups at 100 yards, and then when I was shooting basic range ammunition, the groups opened up to about inch, inch and a half, but this is perfectly capable of sub MOA. In fact, BCA recommends specific ammo, and if you use that ammo, they guarantee sub MOA groups, so that is pretty darn awesome especially for the price and did i mention the price yet i don't think i did 313 dollars with free shipping then i've got that code for 704 tactical for five percent off dropping the price down to under 300 dollars. so that is an insane deal for a quality upper assembly and that includes the bolt care group and charging handle this is also slick because it comes with one of their brand new rail systems this has a really streamlined m-lock design it bolts in with six bolts and that locks it in solid sorry yeah eight bolts a lot of times I'm used to the six bolt setup. Again, these rail systems are a little bit newer, so this locks in with eight bolts. It has a rail section on the front as well as a QD slot on the front allowing for sling attachments and the addition of sights up here and M-lock slots everywhere you need them to add a wide variety of accessories like bipods, lights, lasers, things like that. So this is a really slick setup. It also tapers down for a more streamlined approach located on the top. It does not have M-lock slots on the top, just vent holes to dissipate heat but it works out very well. So I'm a huge fan of this brand new rail system. I like where they're going here. This one comes again, complete with a bolt care group and charging handle, but inside one of their billet upper assemblies. So these are really nice upper assemblies that they're building around. And I love the new billet look and function. The basic charging handle, standard dust cover and forward assist. So all of that is basic and their BCGs work out really well. Now this is where I wanna start talking about reliability. We've already talked about accuracy, but the accuracy doesn't mean much if it doesn't actually function down at the range. And I can confidently say this guy was 100% reliable, no issues whatsoever. Uh, it functions great with every single type of ammo I put through it, but being that it is a rifle length gas system, the ejection pattern was a little bit weak with low powered or steel cased ammo. Um, the rifle length gas system, uh, the way that works is the pressure is going to be a little bit less by the time it hits the BCG, but that just means it is one of the smoothest shooting rifles. And with match grade and precision ammo, as well as 5.56 ammo, the ejection pattern was perfect right at about three o'clock. But again, with weaker powered ammo, the ejection pattern was a little bit weaker. Weaker, but that didn't cause any issues. I didn't have really any function issues whatsoever. Again, depending on the lower assembly, uh, you may want to swap out buffer springs to the standard buffer and standard buffer spring. If you were to put something with like a rifle length gas system and a heavy buffer and an extra power wolf spring, you may have problems with it locking back, but I wouldn't worry about that. As long as you have your standard buffer and standard buffer spring, you are going to be great and the ejection pattern is going to be perfect across the board. Just something to consider. And that goes with every rifle length gas system. I know a lot of guys are new to this and they might slap a carbine upper on here, have a lot of over gas issues. So they throw in that heavy buffer and extra power spring and then later on swap it out with a rifle length gas system. So you will want to understand the gas system versus the buffer springs you have in your upper assembly and your lower assembly. In summary, guys, this is a solid running accurate upper and I'm really glad BCA sent it out. I'll continue to shoot this down at the range and pairing it up with something like this high value arc and optics, you have a great varmint getter or again, just a fun range plinker or long range 223 gun. This thing is pretty darn slick. I can highly recommend it. Don't forget to check out my campsite page for all that information, as well as use the code 704 tactical to save you 5% off uppers I've reviewed from Bear Creek Arsenal. If for some reason uh, in the future, you guys have other ideas that you want to see from BCA, definitely leave them in the comment section below. I'll try to take a look at them. I know they came out with a new 22 upper I'm going to try to get and try out. But again, if you have any other ideas or comments, leave them in the comment section below. Also, guys, I have a 704 Gear YouTube page. My 704 Gear YouTube page is a backup YouTube for everything that I do here. But primarily, it's going to be a gear review channel, a deal channel, a camping channel. So definitely check that out and subscribe over there. I'd really appreciate it. And again, check out all the ammo deals from Borelli. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.